I'm going to put my cards on the table. My revelation is that this is my second favourite Captain Cook. So your first is? Hello, my name's Andrew McCutcheon. And I'm Luke Benedictus. And we are going to talk to you today about a pretty exciting development in the Rado Captain Cook world. That's right, because today we're going to bring you, get up close and personal with the Rado Captain Cook chronograph. Yes. How many versions, Luke? What are we talking about? Well, there are three versions of the new chronograph, which is the first time the Captain Cook range has, of course, done a chronograph. Yep. So what have we got? We've got one in with a brushed bronze case with a mm -hmm. blue sunray dial. Sadly, we don't have that one here. We don't, sadly. I'm itching to get, get a look at that one. Um, but, but we do have. We do have these ones. Now, this is a very interesting gradient dial. It's not the typical dark black to sort of a, a like a grey in the middle, it actually gradiates all the way to silver. Yeah. And same with that one. This, uh, this one does as well from silver to blue. Yes. So we have a really beautiful, I would say, and it's unusual actually to have a gradient dial chronograph. So that's already a bit of a twist. The blue one comes with a matching high-tech ceramic um, bezel inset. And the black one has the same, but in black. So let's play a game. What size do you think this is? I have a seven inch wrist. Uh, we're going to make this a fairly short game because I can tell you now, Luke, it's 43 mil. But that's how it looks on me. So the key specs are 43 mil diameter. We have 14.9 uh, millimeters in height, and we have a sub 50 lug to lug just of 49.5, and a weight. If we're going to just reel through numbers in lightning speed of 188 grams, which is about the same as a Gentia Master Two, so you're getting quite a, a bit of heft on the wrist. It feels substantial, but as you know, as Rado, uh, they're, they're pushing this as a watch for, for modern day adventurers, so yeah. it needs to be a fairly robust customer. And I'm going to lay my cards on the table, Luke. Oh, here we go. Okay. Revelation time. Revelation time. What's your favourite ever Captain Cook? <laughs> it's, well, it's the, my favourite is the one I first saw in 2017. The, yeah. the original cap, well, the original reissue, yeah. uh, which was the Captain Cook, the 37 millimetre one. Yes. And we, we saw that together. Luke and I uh, were, before we worked together at Time and Tide, we were at Basel, but for different camps. And there was a bit of excitement around that release at the time. It was, it was one of the surprise hits of the fair. And, and really, I suppose on the back of that, we've had all these different iterations, haven't we, of yeah. the Captain Cook family. I mean, so many. There's been the, the automatic, the bronze, the, the, the Captain Cook tradition, the, the high-tech ceramic. Yeah. It's spawned the this smoked, entire the family. The sapphire dial last Ooh, year. Yeah. So there's been, uh, obviously, a lot of development of the, this, this platform because it was this accidental hit that turned into a, a huge range. But I'm going to put my cards on the table. My revelation is that this is my second favourite Captain Cook. So your first is? The 37 mil as well. It's, it's dull. I mean, we, I'm sure everyone feels that way to an extent because it's the first time you saw it as well. It was one of the hits of the fair. So if you'll allow me to explain. Yeah, why, why, what makes it so special for you? So the reason this one works for me is because as the, and look, if we go back to 2017, they hedged and had the original small size yeah. and then they had a contemporary sized uh, Captain Cook as well. But as the dial increased in size, there was just a certain, you know, with, with a big 43 millimeter watch and a plain time only dial, there can sometimes be a sense of too much space. So what, I think has been solved with the chronograph is that we not only have a really lush dial with that gradient, but we also have a perfectly symmetrical bicompax chronograph and a date window at six. So this large dial from a large sized watch is suddenly and symmetrically really pleasingly filled. Absolutely, and I mean, of course, you know, this isn't just a, a chronograph. It is also a very much a, a fit for purpose diver. Um, you know, the, the indices are covered with superluminova. We've got water resistance to 300 meters. And of course, uh, it is Rado we're talking about. So they all have those high tech ceramic bezel inserts. They had to get ceramic in somewhere. And as for the movement, it's the Rado R801 movement, which is basically a modified ETA 2894-2, which you can probably tell from the composition of the chronographs. That's for the, the real hardcore watch fans. And the watch has a power reserve of 59 hours. Yep. Now the last feature to mention 
because this is 2022 and I cannot think of the last watch that I handled on this table that didn't have a quick change strap system. This one has one of those too. However, the difference is, unlike most watches and most watch releases, this comes with three straps to choose from inside the box. Yep, so with this one you were just handling here with the black bezel, it comes with a, a nice um, brown leather strap. It comes with a black NATO, and of course it comes on the stainless steel bracelet as well. Um, the same is true for the, the blue dial variant, um, and the bronze, uh, the bronze case piece, that also comes with three uh, different straps, although sadly, no bronze, no bronze bracelet. bracelet. Bronze bracelet is a, is a bold proposition, only a few brands have tried it. I have the Tudor 58 in bronze as we know, and that strap experience is continuing to be quite a ride. Um, <laughs> lastly, Luke, price, what are we talking? So, for the two steel pieces, the price is $5,925, uh, that's, that's Australian. And with the bronze piece, it is $7,050. So probably in that regard, pretty lucky they didn't go for a uh, bronze bracelet. So there you go, the Captain Cook adventure just rolls on and on and on. Uh, and into, uh, however many years later, five years later, my second favourite ever. And where could this go next, Luke? Well, what are we going to see next? We've done chronographs, so we're going to have moon phases. Good GNT, nice. definitely GNT. GNT. Well, that's what I'm tipping. Thanks for watching. What's your favourite Captain Cook? Let us know in the comments and see you soon.